Hey everyone, welcome to the results video for the mini contest. Now this is an uh, extra contest that I held uh, because many uh, people are uh, stuck at home now and uh, the activity uh, on my Discord is uh, really high right now. So uh, I thought this would be the perfect time uh, yeah, to start a little fast paced uh, contest. So everyone uh, got a week to uh, build something in a 10 by 10 tile map that I provided. And uh, well, yeah, everybody has made their submissions, everybody has rated each other's entries. So uh, in this video, uh, I will announce, uh, I will show all entries and uh, I will announce the score that uh, everyone got. Uh, there were 39 uh, completed entries, uh, 39 finished entries. Uh, I will start with the one that got the 39th place and uh, I will finish with the winner of this round. All right. Um, here we have the entry that got 39th place. Uh, this one was made by uh, Creator Creepy, who uh, who was absent from uh, from my Discord uh, for a long time, but he came back and he made the recreation of the world's largest rocking chair. <laughs> I think this is actually quite uh, quite funny. Uh, it does indeed look like a rocking chair. I uh, like how he did the armrests. Um, for the back of the chair, uh, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to, to fill it with signs to describe what it is. Uh, it's probably a better idea to do that in the story uh, that, that goes in the voting pool. Anyway, I do kind of like the uh, American flag here. Uh, I mean, it's recognizable as the American flag. And there's also a little maze here, but obviously that's just uh, to make it look a little less uh, boring. But yeah, I thought this was uh, this was a really funny uh, submission. Okay, here we have the entry that got uh, 38th place. Uh, this one was made by Plasma Wolf. He made this uh, temple style landscape, also with all the water flowing here. Um, I think in the, his story said something about the water flowing uh, upwards. Um, but yeah, I think the the temple itself is kind of uh, interesting. I also like the launched free falls uh, that are here. Um, I advised Plasma Wolf to uh, connect the two launched free falls, and that's what he did. And he also put a little monkey on top. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I would have uh, it would have probably been a good idea for him to add some extra stuff here to look at. Probably some trees. Uh, would have made it a little bit more interesting to look at. Also, I'm not really sure if these uh, blue colors uh, really work uh, in this map. Okay, here in 37th place we have the entry by Mr. McMarky Mark. I uh, hope I said that correctly. Uh, he made this very crowded uh, entry full of uh, silly rides. Uh, we have this water coaster going around here. I believe this is the only part of water that it has somewhere up uh, right before the station. Oh, here it also has a water splash. It's kind of difficult to tell because this entry is so crowded. Uh, this last free fall is uh, really funny. It's called Hold Your Breath. Um, it's probably called that because it actually starts underwater. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really silly. Uh, so yeah, it's very uh, very crowded uh, entry, uh, some cool little buildings, but uh, yeah, it's hard to really uh, make out a team or anything. But for a first submission, uh, I thought this was uh, kind of funny. Okay, here we have the entry made by uh, Lemmy. Um, I actually kind of like this one. Um, so yeah, he made some uh, metal buildings with some colorful uh, cog wheels, uh, very industrial look. And he made the launched free fall on top. Um, so there's a little astronaut guy here. He probably should have given uh, the astronaut a name. Um, other than that, some, uh, some nice plants. Um, this path here is the default path. I, I probably would have used some uh, track texture here or some uh, different blocks to make the path uh, fit in better. Um, the wooden look of the path uh, probably doesn't really uh, fit with the metal of the of the building. Um, yeah, but overall, uh, I don't think he did a bad job. I, uh, I actually kind of like this entry. All right, here we have the entry made by uh, Tommy. Um, 
he said he hated the entry and he hoped that it would get last place. Um, sadly, he uh, failed at getting last place, but he uh, he got close. Uh, so yeah, it's a really uh, simple coaster here, and uh, yeah, it's under attack from aliens. There's all these uh, flying saucers moving around uh, above the uh, above the plot, and also some uh, deadly snatchers. Their chairlifts um, probably would have been nicer if they actually moved. Um, same for this uh, alien mothership. Yeah, open relicas, they go into as lots of tricks which you, which you can uh, do on your vehicles and stuff. So probably he could have done a little better job at this. No, I, I do really like this uh, these carnivorous plants uh, together with these dinosaurs. They look like sort of a monster with tentacles. Uh, so yeah, there's some uh, nice tricks he used here, but uh, overall it looks uh, kind of messy. So that's probably uh, why it's quite so low. Okay, in 34th place we have this entry made by King Kim Jong Poon. Uh, he's a, a newcomer on my uh, on my Discord. Uh, so yeah, he made this uh, little house with this really tiny uh, wild mouse coaster. Uh, yeah, not really much to say about uh, this one. It's very uh, tight layout. Um, I do like how it uh, travels in and out of the building. Maybe he could have actually used one of these portcullis doors because uh, they open and close when the, the coaster trains travel through them. But yeah, he decided to use the arches. I think they work uh, work well too. Um, and here on this side, there's this uh, monster truck ride going around. Um, it actually seems to be in test mode, so yeah, that's uh, you should probably open your rides. Uh, when you have them in your park and you're submitting the entry. So yeah, that's really something uh, to check in the future. Because uh, not opening your rides uh, and having them go through the park empty uh, will usually uh, uh, not impress the voters. Alright, here we have the entry made by Fastfly48. Uh, he made this uh, wild mouse coaster. Uh, here from the station it actually has a vertical uh, lift. Then uh, yeah, it goes down here. It even has some uh, sections where it uh, travels uh, backwards. Then like the forwards again through the same uh, section. Um, let's fast forward it a bit. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can see it in action here. Um, I do think the coaster layout might be a little bit uh, too uh, too high. That's also why it goes so uh, crazy fast here in these in some of these parts. Um, yeah, when you make a coach like this, really, uh, this height here probably would have already been uh, enough. But yeah, it does some uh, cool tricks by going forwards and uh, and backwards a few times. One of these uh, switchback uh, coasters. Even has a little transfer track here, and there's also a launched freefall on the, on the, on the plot. And he actually used the rotodrop uh, cars for it. Uh, when making a launched freefall, it's probably best to just stick to the launched freefall uh, cars. Or maybe the, the flying coaster car if you only want to have it on one side. Uh, but yeah, choices were made. <laughs> Alright, here we have the entry made by Adam G. He made this uh, dense uh, jungle area with this uh, boat ride uh, going through it. A lazy... Uh, or the river uh, rafts, they're called. There's uh, these uh, little buildings in between. Um, so yeah, overall, um, I think it looks uh, kind of nice. Um, not really much uh, to say about it. Um, yeah, there's a boat ride, some buildings, some trees. Um, but yeah, I think it's missing a real uh, eye catcher. It probably could have uh, benefited from a nice uh, temple here or on top or something or even a haunted house uh, yeah just something to really uh, grab the uh, attention of the of the viewer um, so yeah it looks nice but uh, it really uh, needs an uh, eye catcher to really uh, to really impress uh, the voters okay here we have the entry from Safi Adam 
Uh, so yeah, before this we had Adam G, now it's Savvy Adam. Uh, lots of Adams in this round. Um, so he made this tiny uh, vertical drop coaster uh, that travels through this uh, plot, uh, goes underground here and then pops up again. And then here finally it travels uh, up the hill. It's not a conventional uh, layout for the vertical drop coaster. But uh, yeah, seeing how tiny this, these plots are, um, I, I do think uh, this is a, it's a nice layout. And of course, uh, again, uh, a large free fall on the plot. We're gonna see a lot of those in this uh, round. And here's another uh, ride. Um, I'm not always sure if it's good to, to just stick to uh, two colors or three colors. It's probably best to uh, mix up the colors of your rides a little bit. Um, now I do like how he put these uh, trees here on top of the of the hill. Uh, it's usually a bad idea to um, keep your cliff sides very horizontal. Probably would have looked better if it was a little bit uh, more irregular. All right, here we have the entry from Amenity. Uh, he made this uh, castle. Um, so yeah, I like uh, the way this uh, castle looks. Uh, you're using coconuts. Uh, it's probably a reference. Uh, this guy is knee knee knee. So it's probably a Monty Python uh, references. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's also some nice trees next to the next to the castle. There's even a coaster uh, inside. Um, let's take a quick look. Yeah. Coaster does look a little bit painful. <laughs> it's really fast and it goes through these uh, curves here at uh, lightning speed and then slams into the brakes uh, at the station. Um, yeah, probably a real coaster so won't do that. So uh, this might have hurt the score uh, a little bit. Could probably use some brakes um, or something like that. Um, other than that, the castle would have probably looked a little bit better if it had some uh, more details on the outside. For example, in the corners of these... Uh, here in the corners, for example, you can put some uh, poles. So yeah, it, it just gives some more uh, detail to the building. And then here under, you could, for example, uh, put some wooden post fences. Just uh, to break up all, uh, yeah, everything that's in the, in the same color here. And probably behind these uh, windows, why well, if you place them to the front, uh, like so, then you can put a pirate uh, wall behind it. And that will give the window a neat uh, texture. But yeah, overall. Uh, not a bad entry, but it could have probably used a little bit more uh, details on the outside of the building. Alright, here we have the entry from Karif Wins. Um, he didn't win, sadly, um, so his name was not uh, accurate for this round, but he did uh, make a nice entry. Um, so yeah, here we have a big uh, glass building with, uh, with uh, all these uh, plants inside. Um, they do appear to be uh, glitching a little bit. Um, now, and here's also a really nice uh, tree. Um, I'm not too sure about this tree though. Um, he used these big jungle trees here. And they have this really bright, weird green stuff uh, on the bottom. Um, I usually bury these trees when I place them so this stuff doesn't show. So yeah, I'm not really sure if that was the right choice for this, uh, for this tree here. I do like the vines that are uh, hanging from under it. But yeah, this tree looks a little bit awkward uh, to me. But yeah, overall, it, uh, it looks quite nice. Also a little pathway here in the bushes. Uh, so yeah, nice work. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Sans. Sans made this uh, little quarry uh, building. Uh, so yeah, here we have the... Yeah, we have the big building and there's these two... Uh, Probably conveyor belts or just uh, ducts which got, would guide coal or uh, ore into this uh, into this building. 
and under here there's these dodgems, they're called the Collector. <laughs> That's a nice uh, pun. Um, here's some track architecture used for the stairs and for the entrance here, the mine train track is used. Um, personally, I think the entrance would have looked a little bit better if it was a little bit more uh, massive. Um, the, yeah, the support structure for the mine train is does look quite uh, flimsy, so uh, with some more massive structure it probably would have looked a little bit nicer. But yeah, other than that, uh, <laughs> really not much uh, to say about this entry. Um, there's a nice little uh, like, nice little queue, and I like how the path extends to the to the edge here, as if uh, yeah, the plot uh, was bigger, and this is just a little cutout. All right, here we have the entry made by uh, the Sheik. He made a train station. Now I really like the the trees he put here. Um, I think from this angle it looks uh, it looks really uh, lush. Nice little garden here in front. Um, but yeah, other than that, the yeah the train station also looks nice. But uh, it probably the entry probably could have used a little bit more uh, movement on the plot. So there's just uh, one guest walking around. Maybe a little more guests uh, would have made it look a little bit more crowded. Um, yeah. Sorry, it looks nice, but. Uh, <laughs> It looks a little bit uh, boring to watch. Uh, it's it's often a good idea when you're building something to uh, to try and put some extra movement, some activity on the plot to keep the uh, attention of the viewers. Now I must say some nice tricks were used here. Um, the building looks uh, looks quite nice. Uh, so yeah, nice work, but. Uh, try to make it a little bit more interesting, uh, more attention grabby, let's call it that. Alright, here we have the entry made by uh, Kanaifa, he made this little dirt carting uh, race. Um, so yeah, what he made, uh, it looks uh, fairly uh, fairly simple, just a little building here. Um, you can see the go-karts uh, racing around now. Uh, I think it's, uh, it looks uh, quite funny, uh, but yeah, maybe it's a little bit uh, too simple. There's nothing crazy here. Uh, so yeah, just the, the small building, some trees. Uh, I must say the trees were done uh, really nicely. Um, so some the landscaping is really good. I like how this bridge uh, sits here in front of the waterfall. Um, so yeah, this is just uh, really well uh, done. But probably uh, it's missing uh, the wow uh, effect that you really need to uh, score well in these uh, contests. Alright, here we have the entry made by a left-handed coffee mug. I believe he said he made this in his uh, lunch break. Um, it does kind of show, in my opinion. Um, um, you can see uh, quite some glitching uh, going on in several uh, areas of the park. Um, but what mostly uh, turned me down was that um, in the areas where the ride um, enters or exits the temple, uh, the track actually uh, is not there or it's, uh, it's invisible. And that just looks uh, kind of weird. So the, the layout is... Uh, well, yeah, I think it's a, it's a bit too high for uh, such a small plot. That's also why it uh, reaches the station here at uh, at, uh, at a huge uh, speed. But yeah, I think uh, it is a nice effort using all these uh, temple pieces um, mixed with the, uh, well, these plants growing on top of them. Um, I think they look uh, pretty nice. Um, yeah, maybe an extra ride would have uh, helped this plot a bit. Maybe a launched freefall or a drop tower, maybe even a swinging ship or something. Okay, here we have the entry made by uh, Lawrence Lot. Um, well, <laughs> one thing I immediately noticed was this uh, crazy, uh, these crazy shenanigans going on here. Um, it looks like a mess of <laughs> colory pixels here, but yeah, this is actually the Swamp Ghoul with a really crazy uh, palette. 
let's uh, yeah, if you check the colors here you can also see for the moss green this is a really uh, weird stuff uh, going on here uh, it's probably because on uh, yeah on one color range they used all kinds of different colors and then you get some really weird uh, stuff going on let's see if we can get a wall in this color <laughs> Yeah, this is probably not how the game is supposed to look like. But yeah, when uh, used with the Swamp Goo, I think it does look uh, kind of cool. Kind of looks like uh, the guests are dropped in a bath of uh, little of in a bath of candy or something like that. No, it does look like there's a guest uh, stuck here. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, lots of guests actually uh, stuck here trying to leave the park. That's probably not uh, not a good thing. Well, other than that, it's just very uh, very crowded. Uh, it's uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to tell uh, what's going on, but uh, I do think uh, this is a nice uh, yeah, this is a, a nice effort. It does really look like a, a children's uh, playland. Also, like the spinning tunnels on top. And uh, these uh, lollipops are used on top as decorations for this tower. Um, they also look uh, look quite cool. All right, here we have an entry made by uh, Samurai Sam. Uh, Samurai Sam made this uh, Lego land. Uh, I think this is uh, this is this works pretty well. So yeah, just these uh, blocks with uh, four pipe pieces stacked on top, uh, and you get a quite convincing. Uh, yeah, quite convincing pieces of uh, Lego. Uh, the the plot the entry is uh, fairly simple. Um, just these uh, Lego pieces here with the little cart uh, go kart uh, going around called best RCT2 ride ever. Um, yeah, it's quite obvious that this is actually the best RCT2 ride ever. So uh, nice job. This is Bob the race announcer. He's walking around here in this. Uh, glass uh, little shack and there's also a mini golf uh, here called Bricoland Green and there's also a Mr. Bones uh, hidden here behind the stack of Legos so yeah I think this is a, is a really funny uh, plot well done all right here in 22nd place we have the plot made by uh, Duon uh, I think he made a really uh, really nice uh, landscape here actually uh, helped him a bit gave him some uh, tips on how to improve his entry um, so yeah you put this uh, swamp goo behind the water uh, I think that looks really nice when you have water it just adds some uh, movement um, makes the water look a little bit more interesting and it fits well I think in a adventurous team a nice little uh, rope bridge here um, my favorite part is actually the this gorilla that he put on top of the building and that he froze. It's called the Statue of the Guardian. And he actually has another entertainer who is the Guardian of the, of the Sacred Statue. There's was Garden of, Guardian of the Statue and a Statue of the Guardian. But yeah, nice little tower here. Um, other than the canoe rides, I don't think there are actually any uh, any rides. Uh, the sacred, there's an ATM called Sacred Treasure and a coffee uh, shop called Fountain of Youth. <laughs> I think these are uh, these are all, all nice names for the rides. Uh, yeah, and the landscaping, I think it's done uh, really well here. The tower looks uh, really good. All right, in 21st place, we have this entry made by uh, Swag Titties. Uh, actually, some riders uh, reported that their game crashed. Uh, after a while, while watching this entry, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Um, so yeah, he made this uh, non-functional ride. Um, it looks functional because the guests are actually queuing for it. But they're actually queuing for a ride that's here, that's uh, underground. Um, there is sadly some glitching uh, going on here. Not sure if that uh, could have been prevented. But yeah, uh, I think we'll probably see uh, more rides like these in the... Uh, in in the parks made by uh, Swag Diddy's in the in the future. So in reality, probably this arm would lift up and guests would be uh, suspended uh, in the air and uh, twisting around there. 
but yeah, the ride looks uh, looks uh, really uh, realistic uh, to me. Uh, I can clearly see what this ride was uh, supposed to be doing. Uh, so yeah, this is a really a uh, nice looking ride. Um, but yeah, of course it's a non-functional ride, so that's probably why it uh, didn't score uh, as well as uh, many of the other entries. But still, I think this uh, this looks uh, really good. And also the landscaping around it, the decorations, these fences, uh, I absolutely love them. Alright, then we arrive at the top 20. In 20th place is this entry made by Hank the Super Nerd. He made this uh, castle with a coaster going around it. It's called the Ragged Rats. Um, going around it at quite slow speed here, traveling over this uh, castle wall. Then going up this, uh, oh wait, still going around the tower, uh, through this little uh, t tunnel here, then going up with a chain lift, and then uh, they go a little bit faster here. I really like how we used the copy the ride exit for this coaster several times, and he actually used it in the structure of the building. Uh, you can see the coaster uh, train <laughs> entering the exit building here. And it also comes out of the building here. Uh, here more exits were used. So yeah, um, I really like the way this uh, castle looks. Um, it has some nice uh, details uh, throughout the well, throughout. <laughs> uh, so a little maze here. Uh, yeah, just lots of uh, cool stuff to uh, to look at. Nice ride going around. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, it just works uh, really well. I really like the way this is done. So, uh, it's not a symmetric castle. I also uh, prefer non-symmetrical buildings. It's a little nice tower here. Uh, also, I really like the, the drawbridge. That's done uh, really well. It's called <laughs> Corona Castle. Nice. Alright, on to the next entry. Okay, here we have the entry made by a Mackett. Uh, damn, this loves this uh, looks amazing. Uh, so yeah, some uh, really cool, good-looking uh, red rocks here, um, with of course this uh, awesome structure embedded into into the uh, into the canyon wall. Uh, so yeah, I don't think there are any uh, actual rides here. There's an invisible ride there. Well, to the history of the Twisted Song Clan. Uh, there's also some uh, employees here. It's called the Least Twisted Song, Little Twisted Song, Twisted Song, and Big Twisted Song. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, there's probably I don't actually know the story of the Twisted Sisters, uh, but yeah. Um, I must say this uh, this building it looks uh, really good. Maybe it's a fort. Um, I don't actually know, but uh, I love uh, yeah these walls. Uh, I love how they're uh, layered together. Uh, there's also some uh, openings in the walls here, mixed with some path pieces here. So yeah, it kind of looks like the building was cobbled uh, together. But uh, so some really nice uh, landscaping here. My favorite part was actually these uh, Chinese uh, cedar trees uh, used as bushes. So normally these trees look like this, but uh, when you bury them, they will look like uh, these uh, these bushes here next to the water. I really like that. Uh, I'm also going to start using those in the future. So yeah, uh, for this entry, just uh, really great uh, landscaping. Really well done. Okay, here we have the entry made by Jens uh, J. Uh, he made this uh, coaster that travels uh, around the plot here. I believe it's one of those uh, reverse incline launched coasters, so it travels up backwards and then uh, goes forwards uh, through the through the plot. Um, there's a really cool uh, bridge here, uh, right in the middle. Uh, I really like uh, how it's uh, how it's built. It has some even has some arches under it, um, some cables connecting the two halves. Um, yeah, just a really nice uh, mixture of architecture and uh, scenery. Uh, it's also a little Ferris wheel here in the corner, also with some uh, with a 
some support structure here or where it uh, hangs over the cliff and of course there's also these uh, birds uh, or pterodactyls uh, flying around uh, so yeah these pterodactyls they add some uh, movement to the to the plot i think they're uh, really good uh, eye catchers and it's of course uh, not overdone that's also important so yeah really uh, really uh, nicely done great entry all right, then in 17th place, we have this entry made by Phoenix Wing 101. Uh, she made this uh, temple. Uh, she likes making uh, temples. Uh, uh, there's this uh, ghost train uh, going around. Um, not many people seem to be riding it, probably because it has uh, horrible stats. But yeah, that's what these uh, rides do. Um, there's also a launched freefall here. Uh, it's bright orange. Um, I probably would have toned down the colors a bit, uh, maybe moss green or something. But this fits uh, much better with the temple, I think, uh, or purple even. Uh, it also matches with the flowers. Uh, so yeah, I think this this would have uh, made it a little bit better. Um, I do like the the snake that's here on uh, on top. That's something a Phoenix Wing also likes to do. And here in the corner, there's this uh, there's this uh, Virginia reel. Uh, I think it has a long train with uh, well, with ten cars or something. But yeah, I like how it's uh, visible from outside the temple. Previously, it was uh, hidden inside here, but I told her it would probably be nicer if you could see it from the outside. And uh, I think it worked out uh, pretty well in the end. Alright, in uh, 16th place we have this entry made by Etje. He made this uh, time machine. <laughs> now, um, uh, to be honest, I don't really care about the inside of this uh, entry. It uh, all just looks very uh, messy, to be honest. Uh, coasters are pretty cool, but what I like most about this entry is this awesome uh, clock here on the front. Uh, that looks amazing, and uh, <laughs> I really like how this... Uh, multi-dimension coaster uh, apparently it's also shoestringed um, so yeah it uh, it uh, travels around here and uh, that just looks uh, looks amazing it's a great uh, visual effect uh, it's called time warp um, so yeah that really helps for this uh, entry and that's probably what gave, gave this uh, such a good rating um, so yeah absolutely love the clock um, the rest of the plot, sadly, I think it looks a little bit messy, especially on the inside, but uh, it has some nice decorations here on the outside as well. Okay, here we have uh, the entry made by uh, Paul Koppel. Um, so yeah, he made this uh, this ride called Dinner Drop, the launched freefall, which is actually on a single rail with one of his flying coast or uh, lay down coaster cars. Um, I absolutely love the colors uh, in this entry. I wonder if he actually used a different palette. No, these uh, look like the standard colors. Uh, so yeah, this this uh, dinner or diner, it looks uh, lovely. Um, even had some uh, advertisements here on the back, Eat and Moe's and Chipotle Lane. Even some cars here. Uh, maybe it would have been nice to have some moving cars on the, on the plot, but this is also uh, quite cool and there's also a little uh, other building here uh, with toilets and, and some drinks and of course um, he actually used the flying saucer track here and put pods on top uh, I think this combination looks uh, works really well um, so yeah, there's some water which uh, which these pods uh, travel over um, yeah, with the flying saucer track, it just works really well. Uh, that's a nice railing here. Um, so yeah, it may not have uh, a lot of rides, but uh, it, yeah, this uh, plot is just really pleasant to look at. Uh, also some nice gardens and uh, these palm trees just uh, finish it. So yeah, really, uh, really well done. All right, in 14th place, we have this entry made by Sarah Thustra. Uh, he made this really cool uh, building. It's really tall. As you can see there's an observation tower uh, in it. 
Uh, so yeah, while traveling upwards, the guests wouldn't see much, but uh, they would get a lovely view here uh, at the top. Oh, actually, they start here at the top of the building. Okay, I didn't expect that. Well, yeah, probably else they would collide with this uh, Virginia reel, which uh, travels uh, up here. Oh, this ride's called Pagoda of Pain. Uh, that's probably because it will... Uh, oof. <laughs> yeah, this uh, will probably be pretty uh, painful for the guests. Uh, at the end, they go 80 kilometers per hour before they... Uh, run into the brakes here. That is probably quite uh, painful for them. <laughs> um, yeah, probably his score would have been a little bit better if also these supports uh, weren't as uh, massive. In this tower is pretty sleek and this uh, supports, uh, they look massive. Maybe he should have put some other track under here, uh, I don't know. Probably these supports could have been uh, improved a little bit. But yeah, I uh, must say uh, I really liked the look of this building. Um, probably it would have been even better if uh, he also incorporated some uh, an, uh, an extra color in it. Maybe a, a tint of red or something. That probably would have made it uh, stand out a little bit more. Alright, then here we have the entry made by uh, Moo Beasies. Uh, Moo Beasies made this uh, coaster here. and. Uh, yeah, I really like the station building of this coaster. It's a really nice uh, mix of uh, different uh, scenery elements. And also some track texture here on the roof with these, uh, uh, yeah, with these banked uh, wooden uh, coaster car, wooden coaster uh, pieces. Some uh, really nice uh, support work here on the coaster. So I like how these launch freefall towers were incorporated. Um, let's see. There's even a, a little uh, cave here, probably a cave where guests can uh, get something to eat. I've got the burger cave, it even sells lemonade and has toilets, so it has uh, everything all the guests could ever need. Um, so yeah, here's the tower for the for the coaster. It's probably one of those. Uh... Oh wait, no, it's a powered launch, so it doesn't. Uh, travel up the spike in reverse. But yeah, I like how the launched free fall is incorporated here in, in uh, this tower. That's uh, pretty cool. Also the coaster here, that's a quite uh, nice uh, nice layout. Oh, it uses the cars for the vertical uh, drop coaster. <laughs> that's also funny. Alright, uh, yeah, this was uh, one of my favorite entries. Uh, just everything was done really nice. Nice station, nice coaster, nice supports, and even the trees, uh, they're also done in a really nice way. Alright, here we have the entry made by uh, Blond Tuco. Um, he built this really cool ride, uh, it's the Tower of uh, Terror. Um, and when we look inside, you can actually see these, uh, these carriages with guests uh, travel up and down uh, repeatedly. Um, so yeah, it's not a launch freefall, but it's actually a shoestring uh, laydown coaster. Uh, I think this is done in an incredible way. You can uh, see the coaster travel upwards here and then fall down again. Then it goes upwards a little bit more. Then it falls down again. I believe then it goes up to the top. until And then it uh, drops down back here again, where guests can... Uh, exit and enter the ride again. But yeah, this is done uh, incredibly well. Um, you can actually, if you look uh, underground, you can actually see how we did the shoe stringing. Um, <laughs> it looks uh, pretty uh, complicated. Um, if you want to see this in action, I just suggest you download this entry uh, yourself and uh, go check it out. Um, it's uh, quite uh, complicated, but uh, yeah, London took out here. He pulled it off really well. I'm uh, I'm impressed. All right, here we have the entry made by uh, Real Steel. This was one of my uh, favorites. Um, so yeah, this obviously looks like the polar coaster uh, concept. Uh, so yeah, a really high tower with a coaster uh, wrapped around it. 
Uh, I love how the tower looks. It must not have been easy to build this because at the lowest uh, zoom level you cannot even look up there. Maybe you can if you uh, use a different zoom factor. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, also an elevator going up here. I think this tower looks uh, amazing. Uh, I love all these uh, support uh, structures and uh, the coaster wraps around it uh, really well. Um, yeah, the top of the tower looks uh, fantastic. Nice uh, thing on top. I think it's an uh, antenna. Uh, yeah, also the, the bottom of the tower uh, looks quite nice. The coaster is a little bit slow here. Not sure if that was supposed to happen. Uh, but yeah, one thing <laughs> that is maybe a little bit crazy. Uh, yeah, the intensity rating of the coaster is 12.26. Um, still a few guests are riding it, probably he put some guests in the queue uh, and then uh, while the cheat was on for guests to ignore the intensity and then saved it just because uh, when guests are in the queue uh, they won't go out of it anymore even uh, if you turn off that cheat and the high intensity is most likely caused by this uh, maneuver here um, so yeah, the coaster drops down here, and then uh, drops down vertically here, then does this sharp turn before it uh, travels up uh, here. And uh, the lateral g-force are really high here, but because he used these elements here, uh, he couldn't make it banked. Probably what I would have done was uh, just to remove the track here, and will enable uh, arbitrary right tap changes. And make some breaks here, and then simply just use uh, wooden wild mouse track and make uh, one of these one of these uh, these really tight turns, and then uh, the coaster will have no problem getting through here, uh, even though the track uh, will be uh, invisible here. If we uh, change it back to its original coaster type. But yeah, aside from that, uh, this was uh, definitely one of my uh, favorite entries. So, uh, great job from uh, Real Steel. Alright, here we have another crazy entry. <laughs> this one was made by Jack140. Um, yeah, easily also uh, one of uh, my favorite entries. Uh, I mean, there's just so much uh, stuff uh, packed into this uh, entry. Uh, also a really tall uh, building. I believe he actually uh, extended the map a bit while building. So you can do that uh, by going into enable sandbox mode and you can expand the map. And when you do that it will be actually uh, easier to see uh, <laughs> without uh, having to, to zoom out. It makes it uh, easier to build. And then later you can make the map uh, smaller again. Um, yeah, just uh, where, where shall I begin? Here at the bottom you can look uh, inside. Uh, this is the underground uh, section. There's lots of stuff uh, going on here. Lots of uh, machinery, lots of uh, movement. I actually love this uh, robot entrance. You don't see many people uh, use it. Uh, yeah, I just love how you can uh, look inside all these uh, structures all the time. There is sadly quite a lot of uh, glitching going on. Uh, that's quite annoying. But yeah, when we go upwards, uh, yeah, you can also see this uh, coaster going around here. It's called the Rocketeer. Travels up uh, vertically here and then uh, travels all around this uh, section and then uh, the tower extends more uh, upwards here uh, and in the smoke of this uh, of this tower there's actually a, a boat <laughs> so yeah this is just a really cool entry uh, again here just uh, download this entry for yourself and just check out everything there's to see there's just so much uh, cool stuff here, and I cannot possibly cover it all in this uh, video. Alright, on to the next entry. Alright, there's actually a tie for 8th place. Uh, this entry was made by Ayrtont. Um, I really like this entry. Um, the colors in this uh, entry are amazing. I love also how we, how we did the entrance. 
uh, the guests enter the park through this uh, over this cool bridge, which uh, actually passes through the coaster or passes under the coaster. Uh, coasters are really cool looking. Uh, so I launched the uh, or reverse incline launched uh, coaster, so it gets pulled up the lift hill here and then travels through this. Uh, set of inversions and does, then does everything in the reverse again. Um, just really cool buildings here. Uh, nice track texture, just uh, the support structures uh, for the coaster. They all look incredible. And also some really cool looking uh, Asian buildings. Some nice uh, sculptures here. So yeah, this uh, this all looks uh, really good. Um, also, I also love the trees. Just a nice mix of uh, Asian uh, trees here. So yeah, great, uh, great job. Incredible. Uh, this uh, plot looks incredible. All right here we have the entry from uh, Smelly Tapir. <laughs> I love that username. Uh, so yeah, he made this uh, plot built on the side of a cliff with next to a waterfall. Uh, as you can see, all these guests are uh, dropping down here. Uh, he actually built an invisible uh, maze here called uh, Rappelling uh, Platform. Rappelling, uh, I don't know how it's uh, pronounced. Um, and actually here at the entrance, uh, he probably didn't make a path. Uh, so that's uh, why the guests are uh, dropping uh, down here slowly. Uh, so yeah, it actually uh, looks as if they were going down with a, with a rope here. That's a... Uh, I think that's really uh, creative. Uh, now, the other stuff that I really liked in the entry was all the track texture that he used. Um, I really like these supports here under these paths, um, and also the paths themselves, which he used the mini golf uh, track for. Some really cool buildings here on top. Um, the waterfall looks incredible. Uh, nice. Uh, a nice pier here with a boat in front. Uh, yeah, this uh, this all looks uh, looks really good. Not sure if this was a good idea because all the scenery is sticking out here. Uh, let's take a look underground. So yeah, underground. There's actually also a, a coaster going around. It's called Perpetual Motion Machine. Uh, so yeah, it's not actually a coaster. It's just. Uh, well, it is a coaster, but it's not rideable by guests, and it will just go around uh, infinitely here. I believe it was shown in a video from uh, Marcel Foss uh, sometime. Uh, this uh, coaster layout that will just keep going on uh, infinitely because it uh, gains speed through the corkscrew element. Alright, on to the next entry. Okay, in seventh place we have this entry made by uh, Mulpia. Oh yeah, what you can immediately see is this incredible atmosphere here. Um, Mulpia used the palette made by uh, Shen Kitchen. Um, by the way, I remember that name. We will see Shen Kitchen later in this episode. Uh, Mulpia made this incredible uh, haunted house. So yeah, lots of uh, track texture here for the roofs. I think the roof uh, looks incredible. Uh, made with these uh, coasted tracks. Uh, I love the way these uh, windows are done. Uh, probably uh, their uh, expansion scenery. Uh, but uh, I am not sure. I'm not too familiar with these uh, pieces. Ah oh, yes, you can see them uh, here. And probably with some uh, yellow walls behind them to make it look like there's uh, lights. Uh, also some really nice details here like these plants. Um, also the 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 trees and plants they look incredible here with this uh, palette. Uh, so yeah, this palette uh, makes a really nice uh, really nice atmosphere here. Well, in my opinion, probably the building is a little bit too brown. Uh, maybe a different color roof would have looked nice, but uh, overall this uh, looks amazing. There's also a ghost tra ghost train uh, going around here. Uh, you can also see these uh, spinning tunnels here. They add some nice uh, movement to this uh, to this entry. Uh, so yeah, just really cool details everywhere, and uh, the palette really uh, finishes it. Great job. 
All right, here we have uh, a newcomer to uh, to my Discord. This entry was made by Fictator. Damn, I absolutely love this uh, building. It looks uh, incredible. It uses these uh, brick walls from the expansion, and uh, the building just looks very uh, very interesting. I love how he made this uh, these glass walls throughout, and uh, the glass walls actually follow the paths that the guests uh, use. And yeah, it nicely breaks up the, the brick structure. Just nice details uh, all over. Nice layering on these uh, on these walls. Um, also, kind of like how the how he did the clouds here using these uh, mints. So yeah, this is a building uh, on top of the clouds. Uh, there's also all these uh, balloons. He actually gave the uh, all the guests uh, balloons using a cheat, I think. And then right before he saved, uh, he pressed the button for clearing the scenario, and then all the guests uh, released their balloons. I think that's a that's a neat uh, trick. Uh, sadly, there's some glitching going on here with all these uh, Sputniks in the clouds, um, but I can forgive him because this uh, this entry looks uh, incredible. Now there's also these uh, elevators called Ticket to Heaven. Uh, they actually travel uh, through this building. Uh, so they travel up slowly and then down. They go a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm not really exactly sure how these. Uh, Cars, uh, where the station is, but uh, I think it's a really nice, uh, nice effect. And of course, there's also a plane uh, going around this uh, plot, and there's all these uh, signs everywhere. Uh, so yeah, just uh, incredible work. I really hope to see more work in the future from the Victator because uh, this is absolutely amazing. All right, here we have the entry from Anda Twenty Three. Uh, then this is one of the most unique uh, entries uh, I've seen so far. So it looks like one of those uh, typical machines. Uh, I forgot the, the name, but it has one of those claws that uh, can be used. Uh, so yeah, you pull on the joystick and you uh, move the claw to a location where it will or will not pick up a prize for you. Uh, so he yeah, used all these uh, scenery elements and actually some rides in between as uh, prizes. For the claw to uh, to pick up, and there's even uh, a Marshall Foss uh, merchandise uh, piece here. It's one of these uh, small uh, corkscrew rides uh, that we often use for uh, speed runs, stuff like that. Even a little uh, open roll cast tycoon two plushy toy in the shape of one of those uh, slides, uh, a Ferris wheel, dinosaurs. I, this entry is just uh, so uh, unique. I, I, I love it. Um, there's also a wasp in here. I guess you should probably watch out. Um, now, uh, one trick that I really like about this entry is that he used these, uh, these sandstone skyscraper walkways. Um, you barely see any people uh, use it, but that's this really neat animation. So if you then put glass in front, uh, that looks uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely a trick I'm going to steal. Um, oh yeah, it looks like the person who operated just won uh, Mr. Bones uh, plushy toy. <laughs> so that's great. All right, here we have the entry made by uh, Risiko. Um, oh man, I love this entry. Um, so yeah, there's this really cool uh, castle-like uh, building uh, with this uh, little powered coaster going around. And this coaster, it's small, but it's integrated uh, so well in this uh, building. Uh, I mean, look at this. Uh, it travels through the building. Uh, it circles around this tower. Uh, it just all works so well. Uh, this building, really nice layering, a really nice variety of uh, different uh, building materials. Uh, yeah, nice elevation changes. Uh, you, you can see some guests uh, sitting here. There's probably some food they can buy here. Here's some toilets. Uh, oh, they can buy cupcakes here. Nice. Uh, also, these uh, these trees. Uh, I think it's a really nice mixture of uh, trees. And yeah, everything just looks. Uh, it's, it's just so very nice to look at. This is uh, great work. 
really happy this uh, scored so well because this was one of my favorite entries all right then we get to the top three uh, this one got third place this entry was from uh, Shen Kitchen uh, so yeah Shen Kitchen made this uh, giant burger uh, this was actually my favorite entry of the of the round um, but yeah still it got uh, third place in the end so I'm uh, I'm happy about that uh, so yeah, there's this really cool uh, restaurant here on the bottom. I actually like how you can look inside and you can see uh, all these guests uh, having their food. Uh, there's a, Here's a cook. He's the one cook who <laughs> isn't sick. Uh, he's keeping the place running. Uh, this uh, restaurant, it just looks amazing uh, from the outside. Uh, even has some burger stalls used as decoration here. And... Uh, also a swinging ship just here for the music. Well, yeah, I have the music turned off now so you can actually hear me while I'm talking. But uh, let's just see which music is playing. Roman fanfare style. <laughs> okay, so it's I guess it's a Roman uh, decorated uh, burger place. Well, the restaurant here, it looks, uh, it looks incredible. Uh, and of course, then there's this giant uh, burger on top. Uh, I love how this is made, so yeah, you can clearly <laughs> distinguish the, the bun, uh, some salad on top, then there's the, there's the burger itself, cheese, uh, tomato, onion rings, more, uh, more salad, lettuce, and uh, then finally a bun on top. And there's even some uh, gravestones here used as uh, some sesame seeds. So yeah, an incredible entry. Uh, this uh, made a uh, great use of the 10 by 10 area and uh, of course the, it, I really like all these uh, tall entries so uh, yeah great job uh, amazing work all right here we have the entry that got second place this entry was made by uh, Skiffa uh, Skiffa made a really crazy palette again uh, the purples are actually green here and uh, some colors were probably uh, switched around But yeah, um, this is a temple from, uh, I believe it's from Spirited Away, at least that's what the palette said. I see some guests walking around here frantically searching for a toilet. Um, I bet he doesn't didn't actually make a toilet here. Um, but yeah, this building, I think it looks incredible. I love the colors on it. Um, just such amazing uh, details here. Uh, the roof here, it's, uh, it's incredible. I love this uh, tint of uh, green. I uh, also love the dragon going around here called uh, Haku. Uh, There's also a train here traveling over the water. I think that was also in the, in the movie. Uh, little uh, roto drop here called Chimney Sweep. Um, yeah, the roto drop works really well with this uh, chimney piece uh, on top. Uh, that's not. I don't. I'm not sure if I've seen uh, this trick used before, but uh, yeah, it's almost like this piece was made to be placed on top of a roto drop. Uh, this looks uh, incredible. Uh, really cool bridge here on the front. Uh, with this hardline twisted track with uh, with car ride uh, track on top. Uh, some nice gardens here next to the entrance to this uh, temple. Uh, I love how we did the, these uh, windows. Uh, yeah, nice arches. This, uh, yeah, just so many nice uh, decorations. This, uh, this stuff is incredible. And there's even uh, some more stuff going on here underground. Uh, there's a race uh, going around called No Race. And there's also some pipes here in the back, uh, which uh, have water coming out of them. Well, um, I think this entry uh, for sure is worth uh, checking out uh, yourself. Um, it's incredible and uh, yeah, there's uh, lots of details to uh, discover. Uh, some that I probably haven't even found yet uh, myself. So uh, give this one a download and uh, go check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Alright, and then we get to the winner of this round. Uh, not surprising. <laughs> this one was made by Mama Rios. Um, he made this uh, nice looking uh, castle with this incredible dragon on top. Uh, 
the dragon definitely is the eye catcher of this uh, of this uh, entry. The dragon looks uh, really cool. It's uh, not uh, too big. Uh, so yeah, Mama Maria really likes making these track texture uh, sculptures. Uh, these wings they look incredible. Nice uh, stack of coasted track. So the the face of the dragon, they're always uh, difficult to do, but uh, you pull it off really well. It's a nice uh, mixture of scenery and uh, track and texture. Uh, and of course, the, there's this uh, tail that wraps around the tower. So I really like how we did the spire of this tower. I think I've seen this particular uh, way to make the spires uh, several times. Uh, well, throughout the history of these uh, contests. And of course, there's also a coaster uh, traveling around the castle. Um, oh yeah, you can see it uh, go go up here, goes up quite steeply. I like how we put this mine train coaster track under the normal coaster track. They combine uh, pretty well. Uh, lower half the structure is mostly wood, with then uh, some stone on top. There's even a waterfall coming from the tower. So yeah, it's definitely very. Uh, fantasy like uh, and that's really what uh, Mamarias excels at. I like how the coaster goes around here, even has some crazy banking here. Uh, lots of uh, little details here. It's Rogen in a boat, probably uh, Jochen. There's even a drunk Link. <laughs> drunk Link. Uh, I wonder uh, who he means with Drunk Link. <laughs> so, yeah, some nice uh, Staff names here. Um, so yeah, just like the previous entries, uh, go uh, download this park and check it out for yourself. Uh, this uh, just shows the incredible stuff you can do by uh, stacking, uh, tr by mixing track uh, track pieces with uh, with scenery in your entry. All right, those were the results of the first uh, mini contest. Um, we'll have another one of these uh, quite soon. Uh, it might get a theme, so uh, yeah, this uh, round was really free for all, build anything. The next one I might tell you uh, what kind of thing you need to build, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see in a, in a few days when uh, I will announce the next entry. Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching all these ent entries. Uh, I'm always amazed by uh, the kind of stuff uh, you guys pull off when uh, building these uh, entries. And I, I hope to see many more cool entries uh, in the next mini round. Alright, I hope you enjoyed all these entries and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!